Hi everyone, this is Shytown town Tracy. Um, I am here to share with you a project that I did for a swap over at um, uh, Totally Tilda. We were to do a ice cream cone um, pin cushion and um, we were supposed to make some stick pins as well. So um, what so this is what I came up with. This is some um, Tilda paper. Um, I believe it's from Corner Shop. Not exactly sure. These are some really petite um, buttons that I got from Joann's. And this is here. This is um, some really pretty um, trim from Hobby Lobby. And it is, um, what am I thinking of? Um, okay, you guys know what it is. Um, and then it, it comes on a roll though, so it, it's tool. It's tool, but it comes on, it's um, layered and it comes on a roll. So you get it in the ribbon section or the trim, not the the um, by the yard uh, trim, but just the regular roll. So, um, and then if this is the pom pom that I, I have in my store, I love it because it's more, um, they're, the balls are more um, rounded and not as, they're just not like the pop-up trim you get at a hobby. That's why I like it better. Um, this is a resin that I made and then the background is Tilda paper or it could be first edition paper. And then a little Tilda um, ballerina that I saw in my store, she was yellow and I made her um, pink. And then I added a bow and a resin bow and a little thing, a little uh, button again. And I covered this with white velvet. I did try to dye it pink, but you can just see it's a light pink. And then it's going to hang here with the the um, lace. So, and this is a what I did was I bought um, a cone from um, Michaels in the paper mache section, and then covered it with paper. And then this is a styrofoam ball. Man, these styrofoam balls are expensive. I didn't realize they're expensive. I've never had to buy them before. Um, but I think like a pack of six or nine is like five ninety nine. But I used a coupon at um, at Hobby, and then I just covered it super easy. Covered it with um, the the velvet, and this is stretch velvet covered with the stretch velvet at um, and I got that at Joann's. And then these are just the stick pins, and I love um, these here because these are made with buttons. And you see that they're so cute. Not my idea. I scrap lifted that, um, but I do like them. They're very cute. So I hope she likes it. And so that's that. Um, so that was all we were supposed to create. Then of course, you know, when you're doing a swap, you always create a little bit more. So this is the bag that I made her. And these little bags are from Hobby Lobby. And um, I, I, uh, I got this off the internet and I had I ran it through my printer on Muslim so what I did was I took um, a uh, you know cardstock and then I sprayed my Eileen's tacky spray that I used for my brother scan and cut or you know your your um, what are those things called crickets um, and so you just spray it it's a spray adhesive looks like you know hairspray you spray it on the paper then you you you, of course you have to iron out your muslin. You iron it and then you just lay it really flat and cut it out and then run it through your printer. And usually my printer, the top two prints usually don't look good because the ink gets all messed up on it, but it works really well. Um, but anyway, so I mean I sacrificed two to get two, but I don't really care. And then I just ran it through my sewing machine and then I just... Um, so what I did was I sewed it on this piece of um, material and then I glued it onto this with fabric glue just because I couldn't get into sew it otherwise I would have sewed it, sewn it. And then I made the little flower and um, that I just did a running stitch with some of the material and just made this little, I think they call these lollipop flowers, maybe not, I don't know what they call them. And then um, I made um, these cute little tags um, and these are made with resin pieces. I scrapped this idea from Laura. Um, you'll see the next one. Um, that's what Laura did. But I just thought it was super cute to use for her Tilda projects. 
Esme is my partner, Esmeralda McCarthy here. She's so talented. You guys should check her out. And then um, this is what I scrap lifted from Laura. And then I made these are the Tim Holtz. Um, I don't know what they call them, thingamajigs. <laughs> but um, you just glossy accent a picture on it. And then you just have to be really careful because you have to get all the air bubbles out. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's still really cute. And then some more resin pieces. And then just a little resin piece there. So that's for my swap over at um, uh, and, uh, Tilly Tilda. And then I made this little one. I love the deer. I love how whimsical and stuff that is. So that is, I'm going to add a few more little goodies, but there's no need to show those. So that is for that swap. And then I am hosting a swap for um, a few ladies and we, uh, ladies and gent, <laughs> Omar. Oh, Omar, Amador. Um, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> I know an Omar, so I get the names confused. Um, so anyway, Amador. And um, this is what I made. I made the, the um, really cute bags again, and then I made the flowers. And this is actually um, vin a, a button cover, but this is a vintage pillowcase, this little one here. And then this is the same paper, and, the, and paper, the same material. This pretty material is actually from Walmart very super inexpensive too so basically this is where i got the idea the idea for esmeralda's um tag but this is the ones these are a little bit bigger we we're supposed to make um four embellishments so this is these are tilda tags of course and then i made these again um these are a little bit different well let me just show you the close-up of this one so cute and then these and these are all made with tilda paper and then these stars I got these, I think, at, at Hobby or Michael's. These are all wood pieces. I gessoed them and covered them and then added little you know, these. And then here I used Mika Stella around the edges. And this is the one I scrap lifted from Laurel, which is totally cute. And I don't have these on here, so I just have them with glue dots so you can pull them off so you could use the tags again. And there's some more resin pieces. So just, you know, really cute, um, the four embellishments, and I do have some other embellishments um, that I'm going to put in here, um, which I, where they're at. So there are some few more things that are going to go in here. But so you get the bag and the little tags, and um, then again, the cute little card. So. And that's that. Really super easy, super cute, I think. I love the bags. Um, this is the first time I've actually sewn a flower. And I guess that's it. I thought I had more to show you. I guess they don't. Uh, I'll show you. I made these little... I'm going to put these in there too, these little um, mason jars. Just covered with tilde paper. And this little rose, I don't know where I got these little roses, but they're so pretty, and I about used them up. But so, I have a few of those, and then I also did ones like this too, which is just a gingham, and then um, these are robots from Kaiser Craft. Just think that looks totally vintage with the little rose. So, just some little embellishments that you could just throw in your projects. Um, I was playing around with the frontage, and you can see I did a little star here. That's not going to anybody, though. <laughs> so, there's another one, just a different paper. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.